Whoo! If you break your spindle belt, you are not making parts. Hello, I'm the CNC Repairman, and in this video, I'm gonna go over the top problems that will make your machine fail. This video is more of a follow-up to my how much downtime can you afford. Some things you can't just fix or make a workaround, you have to replace it. And the cost of overnight shipping, the cost of downtime, that all adds up. So I'm gonna go over the most common brand and I'm gonna go over the most common things that will fail. So maybe you can have these on hand or repair them. If you're counting on your machine, I don't want you waiting a day or two for the parts to show up. The order is in no particular order. I'm just gonna work my way through problems that I don't have a workaround for. You just have to replace the part. So let's start with switches, home switches. If you have a bad home switch or cable, you can try to splice it, you can try to grease it, put some oil on it, but if it's broken, it's broken. So having one of these on hand isn't a bad idea. If you have a home switch, it'll also double as a tool release switch, as a shop pin switch, as a tool changer in out switch, or as a bump or carousel switch. So having one of these on hand or knowing where to get one pretty quick is a good idea. Motor and encoder cable. If you have a bad motor or encoder cable, they wore through, there's coolant, it's a short to ground, I don't have a workaround, you, you need a new cable. Let's talk about your turret. If you pull your turret off and you damage the spring or you find that your springs inside of it are bad, you're gonna need a new one. If you have a side mount tool changer and the pocket up down when it goes to do a tool change is kind of slow, it's probably this guy, or if you get like a 626 carousel misposition and tool timeout fault, you need a new pocket up down valve. You can try to spray some WD-40 in there, but I don't want you changing tools by hand on a big run because you don't have one of these. These, right here, this is an inexpensive part that you cannot run without. It's the coupling for the oil bath inside your gearbox. Inexpensive, it's worth having. People order these overnight all the time. They pay five times as much for shipping. Probe, breakaway, anvil. If you're desperately using your probe, have a spare on hand. That's all I can say. Quick exhaust valves. If one of these is bad, you're gonna be banging your tool release piston every time you go to do a tool change. That's gonna shorten the life of your spindle, of your draw bar, and of your tooling. So you can get a rebuild kit or a new valve. The same with this valve here for the tool release piston, for super speed or regular, they also use these on lathes. Whew. If you break your spindle belt, you are not making parts. Having one of these on hand, good idea. It's cheaper than overnight shipping. If you break your encoder belt, this is something like I, I just can't say, oh yeah, turn this parameter off and you'll be good to go. You need one of those. The gear shift solenoid, if you really need it to go into low or high gear, you're gonna need this. If you can work around it, you probably can get one overnight. If you break the piston, blow out the O-ring, or you have a sticky tool release piston, maybe you can get by it. I've actually heard of one of these breaking and the guy put it back together and it ran. Well, that's good, but until it breaks again, he's gonna be out. So a rebuild kit for one of these. Take a look, here's a brake finger if you need to run a live tool and break your spindle on your lathe. Having one of these on hand is nice because they do break. So these are kind of my group together of parts to have on hand if you count on your machine. So check out CNC replacement parts. You can get some or all of these or call us and you can kind of get our recommendation. But if your machines are old and you depend on them, maybe don't depend on something that is gonna break soon and you don't have any backup parts for. That's my two cents. Hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe and follow along for more videos. Thanks for watching.